While you might shudder at politics today, you can't help but think that what happens at government offices could make a good laugh. And that's precisely what Jonathan Lynn and Sir Anthony Jay thought when they created Yes Minister. Their impeccable writing is what made the show a success, but the cast brought these great characters to life. Sadly, some of the Yes Minister cast members have since passed away. Join Facts vs. UK to learn about how each Yes Minister cast member died. Richard Vernon as Sir Desmond Richard Evelyn Vernon was born March 7, 1925, in Naivasha in British Kenya. In 1937, he and his parents returned to Britain and he grew up in Reading and attended school there. Upon finishing school, he served in the Royal Navy during the Second World War. He later studied acting at the Central School for Speech and Drama in London. He first made an impact with the 1960 film The Citadel. This helped him gain more roles throughout the 60s, including the small but memorable role of Colonel Smithers in the 007 film Goldfinger. By the time he was cast as Sir Desmond Glazebrook in Yes Minister, he was one of the most recognizable faces in British cinema and television. Sir Desmond was a banker who clearly had no idea about the financial industry. In his own words, the financial times that he carried was just part of the uniform. He appeared in a few episodes of Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister. He was remembered as a joy to work with and equally excelled in comic and dramatic roles. He amassed 188 credits, and his final work was a role in a feature film called Loch Ness, released in 1996. He died from Parkinson's disease December 4, 1997. He was 72. Edward Jewsbury as the Chief Whip While Yes Minister was a comedy, it dealt with the seriousness of British politics and often wasn't afraid to touch on darker themes with gentle humor. One character who emphasized the intensity and ruthlessness of British politics was Vic Gould, the Chief Whip, played by Edward Jewsbury. Edward was born August 6, 1917 in London. He's remembered as a versatile actor in cinema, television, and on stage. He acted in several plays and was part of the Royal Shakespeare Company. He was known for his work in films such as John Wesley, the Italian film Sace in Vanzetti, We Think the World of You, Henry V, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and more. In Yes Minister, he played the chief whip in two episodes. He appeared in the first episode, Open Government, and a later episode, Whiskey Priest. In the latter, he shined through and gave a contrast to the show's gentle tone. He convinced Jim Hacker to keep quiet about British arms being used by Italian terrorists. Edward Jewsbury died on March 31, 2001, at age 83, the same year he had his final credit in an episode of Midsummer Murders. In film and TV, he amassed 139 credits from 1938 to 2001. Arthur Cox as George the Chauffeur Arthur Cox was born April 7, 1934, in Banbridge, Northern Ireland. He moved to Belfast as an adult to pursue an acting career. He began on stage, appearing in plays like A View from the Bridge and The Masquerade of Henry IV. But it was his work in film and television he was most known for. He developed a reputation for being a prominent character actor. His film work includes roles in films like Sweeney II, God's Outlaw, Personal Services, and his final film, Shuttlecock, released in 2020. On television, he was known for his roles in shows such as Jane Eyre, The Alan Clark Diaries, Midsummer Murders, George and the Dragon, Doctor Who, and Crown Court, among others. On Yes Minister, he played George, the minister's chauffeur. This was a small role, and we only saw a few glimpses of him here and there. But he gave an insight to the role that the staff of politicians play. He brought his affable personality and humor for the role, and was a great addition to the show. Arthur enjoyed one of the longest and most successful careers of perhaps any British actor, he amassed 100 credits over 50 years. He died April 9, 2021, in London at age 87. Derek Folds as Bernard Woolley Derek Folds was the last of the main Yes Minister cast members to pass away. He left us January 17, 2020, at the age of 82 in Bath. He was born September 2, 1937, in London. As a teen, he worked at a printer's firm and then served in the Royal Air Force as part of his national service. As a student, he was encouraged to pursue acting by a teacher impressed by Derek's talent in amateur school productions. 
He studied at RADA and started his career on stage. He became well known for his roles in films like East of Sudan, Tower of Evil, Mistress Pamela, and Tamahine. His first major TV role that brought him fame was playing Mr. Derek in The Basil Brush Show. But it was his role as Secretary Bernard Woolley in Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister that brought him major stardom. He played the innocent and often naive cabinet secretary who was often smarter than he seemed. He continued to act after the series ended, and the last role he really became known for was as Sergeant Oscar Blaketon in the show Heartbeat, which he played until his retirement in 2010. After that, he only acted on occasion. He amassed a total of 83 credits and a career that lasted almost 60 years. <laughs> Sir Nigel Hawthorne as Sir Humphrey Appleby Nigel Hawthorne was born in Coventry, April 5, 1929, but grew up in South Africa. He returned to the UK as an adult to pursue his career as an actor. While he got roles often, mostly on television, it took him several years to make a name for himself. In fact, it was when he was cast as Sir Humphrey that he finally got his breakthrough. Finally, he was given a role where he got to use his full talent and would receive regular work. For his role on Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister, he won lots of praise and a few BAFTAs. His career continued after these shows ended. He became known for his work on stage, particularly playing King Lear. He also received an Oscar nomination for his role as George III in The Madness of King George. He won the BAFTA Award for Best Leading Actor for this role. He was awarded a CBE in 1987 and knighted in 1999. Sir Nigel Hawthorne died on Boxing Day 2001 at age 72. Paul Eddington as Jim Hacker In his final TV interview, Paul Eddington stated he'd like to be remembered as someone who didn't cause any harm to others. And that's how we remember him. He was a gentle man who dedicated his life entertaining us. He was born June 18, 1927 in London. He began his acting career in his teens and realized this was all he wanted from life. He became a prominent actor known mostly in television and first gained fame with the show The Good Life. In this show, he showed how his gentle personality could work for humor. He was later offered the role of Jim Hacker in Yes Minister. He was initially skeptical as he felt politics wasn't funny, but we're glad that he changed his mind as he helped create one of the best characters in British sitcoms. He reprised his role in Yes Prime Minister, which was also a success. Sadly, around this time, he was suffering from a rare form of cancer, which is why his role in Yes Prime Minister often had him sitting at his desk more often. But like a true Englishman, he didn't make a fuss of his illness and continued his excellent work in Yes Prime Minister as well. Sadly, he succumbed to his illness November 4, 1995, at age 68. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Yes Minister? Let us know in the comments section below.